Hey, this is Keith, and for my video modeling project, I will be doing properties of exponents. And to do this, as you can see, I've made some simple, simple exponent equations. So let's just get right into it. The first equation is for the zero property. You can see I have several examples. 48 to the zero power equals 1. 10 to the zero power equals 1. And 5 to the zero power equals 1. No matter what you put in, it will always be 1. There are no exceptions to this rule. That one's pretty self-explanatory, so moving on to the negative exponent property. Now this property is mostly to um, turn the exponent positive to make it easier to solve an equation. To do this, you must turn it into a fraction. So instead of 8 to the negative third power, you would have 1 over 8 to the third power. Benefits of this are, well, negative exponents are just not fun to deal with, unless you deal with a positive one. Moving on to the product of powers property. In this one I've used example of this using 8, but it can be used with x variables as well. But in this one, if um, two numbers of the same base with different exponents are multiplied by each other, the exponents will add. Like in this case, 8 to the third times 8 squared would come out to be 8 to the fifth instead of possibly 16 to the fifth that you might think. Moving on to the quotient of powers property. Now again, this can be used with x variables, like most of these can, as they are exponential equations. But in the quotient of powers property, when two numbers of the same base, such as this one, 10 to the 5th over 10 to the 3rd, are divided, instead of dividing the numbers by each other, being 1 to the 5th and 1 to the 3rd, that's not what you do. You just subtract the bottom exponent from the top. So in this case, you would have 10 squared as the answer. Power of a product property. Now, when two, um, two numbers with different bases are multiplied together but have the same exponent, you are to multiply the base, not the exponent, as seen in the product of powers property. Similar names, but you got to remember the difference. It's critical. And now, the power of a power property. <clears throat> power of a quotient property. In this one, the numbers you're dividing by each other have different bases, but the same exponent. So in this case, it's 10 divided by 7. You can kind of forget about the exponents because they're the same. and It's kind of like having the same x variable. So once you divide 10 by 7, you find out it is 1.428 to the third power. You have to put it in parentheses, otherwise it doesn't work out in the calculator. Moving on to the power of power property. So this is specifically for when you have a number in parentheses that's being squared or, you know, raised to some number, but you also have another, or the parentheses are being raised to another number outside that. For this one, you would add the two exponents together, the one outside the parentheses and the one inside. The example being 4 squared parentheses raised to the third power. So that would equal 4 to the fifth power, which in turn would equal 1024 if you want to calculate it all out. Now the last but toughest rational exponent property, as you can see in this one, you are trying to 